Hello and welcome to the new episode of your favorite YouTube uh, show where a guy with strange Ukrainian accent is torturing your ears and sometimes English grammar trying to tell about some new earphones, headphones, ducks and players. Today for review I've got uh, prob well relatively recently released model. It's made by Shozi in cooperation with Neo Audio. It, this model named CP as far as I understand. It's a three driver balanced armature model with a relatively good price $165. And as usual when something is done by Shozi it has at least unusual sound and uh, in vast majority of cases it, it sounds really good and uh, really uh, unexpected and usually it overperforms its price range. So let's have a closer look now. Box is fairly simple, it's made of uh, great cardboard with simple logo printed on it. On the back side uh, they've highlighted uh, some uh, features of this model. Actually the only technical specification printed here is frequency response from 20 Hz up to 20 kHz. And at the same time they are mentioning uh, Super Twitter for extra high frequencies extension. I'm not sure did they mean from uh, high, extra high frequencies from 10 kHz where all in, almost all in-air monitors have a drop off or they are speaking about above the 20 kHz range. I'm not sure what they mean here, but treble is good, but it's, we will talk about that later. Other technical specifications, if I remember right, the most important uh, impedance is 30 ohms and sensitivity is 107 decibels. So it's almost perfect, not too tough to be driven properly and not too sensitive to be really noise speaking. Inside there is a case, pretty traditional but big, you can use it to store your dub for example also. You will have good set of tips, two pair of forms, two pair of uh, double flange silicone tips and three pair of single flange silicone tips. They are a bit unusual, they are shallower than traditional tips, let me open, open it to get someone. As you can see they are, how to show it to be visible, they are flat, more flat than usual. Here is some third party tip, I've, it's smaller and more flat. Here is some third party tips I've tried, I, as you can see stock tips are smaller here. Also pair of replaceable filters for sound tuning and of course in air monitors themselves with cable. It would be really sad if we didn't find, find them. Build quality is nothing but great. Those in air monitors are made from medical resin. They are using classical shape like uh, for example Shure models and many many other universal in air monitors before them. There is a really similar looking model made by Magaosi, but actually Shozi representative told me that these models are only looking similar because this one is using their own sound tuning and they don't share the same internal design. So it's not an, some, on, uh, some OEM model. It was tuned and uh, developed by Shozi and Neo. Nice transparent case, actually different colors, right one is kind of magenta and left one is probably blue or cyan color. It's transparent so actually we can count the drivers and see that there is no cheating here. So you don't try to fool us, so big one probably it's for base and uh, two smaller are here, also here is crossover PCB visible and probably I'm not sure will videos show it to you but uh, there are three separate so sound tubes inside that are leading to the spout. Here is spout itself, it's also a bit, uh, bit unusual, it's uh, narrower than traditional with wide lips so it will hold even uh, uh, tips with wide openings, it can be unscrewed. I am trying to be careful here and screw it back. So that's the way you will replace filters if you'd like. They are pretty short so no deep insertion and sound isolation is a bit above uh, average, sorry not above, of course, a bit below average. But anyway it's enough for uh, 
typical typical usage on the street on the public transport tips are holding pretty nicely I'm really attentive to this uh, aspect recently because I've got some tips stuck in my ear and it was not really pleasant experience I have to use pilers cable of course is replaceable here used MMCX connector they found probably good connectors with normal clamping force so they can be disconnected but uh, they are not too, too loose actually speaking about wearing comfort they fit into my ears really nicely and I enjoy wearing them because they are so smooth no nothing is uh, pushing over your ear so wearing comfort is really great at least for me because all ears are different and uh, here can be other results stock wire is also nice actually there is no ear hook of actually there is ear hook format but there is no heat shrink no memory wire it just formed by cable itself and it provides a good secure fit and stock cable is pretty good pretty nice pretty good it's uh, silver plated copper it's looking really stylish it's soft it's uh, pretty thick so it will be probably reliable it's not getting hard when it's cold outside it looks really stylish like uh, audiophilic wire should look here is splitter chin slider unusual and here it goes braided four cables it goes way way way, way down to the regular jack with uh, uh, with carbon insert so i think uh, build quality design stock cable wearing comfort everything is really good here and of course about the sound we need some player as an illustration and it will be few m7 i know you can say that m7 is already outdated few announced m6 which will have wi-fi and bluetooth and streaming and will cost 50 dollars less but i can say that i still like m7 you know just because i really like the player that i have to charge once in three weeks and use or maybe a bit less a bit off more often than once in the three week but uh, once in, in the two week definitely and uh, uh, use it about one hour per day and it won't run out battery I really like this so it's probably one of the longest living dubs maybe not the longest living but one at least one of those so let's go back to our Shozi and Neo Audio CP so it's a triple driver model I think uh, crossover configuration is uh, pretty expectable so one is for low frequencies one for mids and one for treble but uh, as usual Shozi uh, did really good uh, job tuning it they created a slightly v-shaped signature with, with uh, typical advantages of uh, balanced armatures resolution micro contrast and uh, great imaginary stage so First of all, it's uh, base. Base has uh, light accent on the in the mid base area, so it gives a bit hint of warmth to their sound. But uh, because it's balanced armature, it's not uh, really bloated, not uh, super weighty like dynamic driver models are usually are. So base here is fast with great texturing, with great instrument separation, and with uh, really good layering. It has enough uh, quantity and quality to build solid foundation for the melody. It's lacking depth a little bit, but I think it's pretty expected for the balanced armature model. So it's not the model for... Actually, deep bass is present here, but it's a bit rolled off. So it's not a model probably for electronic music, for uh, some synthesized bass, but for real instruments with real acoustic bass they are more than good as usual i need to give some examples and this time it will be great david bowie black star girl love me so as you can probably remember black star is really well maybe not bass heavy album but almost all tracks here has uh, have solid bass foundation really nice giving the this atmosphere to these tracks and uh, this uh, in-air monitors really managed to re recreate this atmosphere 
Also, I forgot to mention, but you probably will have to look for some third-party tips with them, because uh, I didn't manage to get to, to get proper fit with this shell of small tips, but with, with these ones they are really good. And actually with not so good fit you will lose some base, and uh, actually I think it's pretty expecting, expectable. So bass is great for acoustic instruments, for some genres like well, let's speak about genres later at the end. Mids are really good with a bit hint of warmth, but with great resolution, with uh, great rep emotions, with great uh, with great emotion representation, with good representation of instruments, uh, characters, with good staging. It's definitely above average, both in width and in depth. Imaginary stage, I really like them. They are sounding really spacious, despite being a bit warm, because you know usually warmer IMs tend to sound more intimate. Those one not super spacious, you know, like like some multi-driver high-end armatures, but for this price range they are really good. And uh, they are not too picky for the quality of recording. Of course you will hear all the issues of the recording, but uh, they won't throw it right to your face at least. As an exam example, I've actually selected pretty familiar tune, it's The Invisible Man by made by Queen. This uh, track is kind of I don't know, tending to be some electronic music, uh, probably, maybe not, it, it's hard to classify Queen, actually. So anyway, perfect vocal that requires perfect resolution and perfect representation, and Shozy Neo CP has it. And also pretty good three-dimensional electronic effects, also thanks to these uh, uh, earphones you can enjoy them really around you. They have slight accent on the upper mid and on the lower treble to add some clarity and some wow effect to the sound. And it does its job well. Vocals, especially for male, sounds really, uh, really nice and uh, some percussion really good and so on. And treble here, of course it's not as good in terms of layering, for example, layering here is only basic. Attacks and decays are a bit uh, faster than they should be. It's typical for also for balanced armatures, but they definitely have a good extension and they have good presence, good uh, airness, good airness, good sparkle, but not too bright, too sibilant, too sharp. Actually, Shozy always avoid being too bright and too aggressive, so it's pretty good treble. And uh, as an example, another pretty well-known artist, it's Peter Gabriel, Downside Up, uh, really treble rich track, really go uh, good uh, record, uh, recorded really good, and this in-air monitors also really succeed in representing it. So to summarize everything about the sound, uh, pretty really resolving model, with a bit hint of warmth, with slight accents on the mid bass and in the upper mid and lower treble, and with a bit rolled off deeper bass. So perfect for vocal music, for jazz, for electro... well, not probably for electronic music, well, for, let's uh, call it smart electronic music, not those uh, dance music that uh, uses low frequencies to crush you, but something smart like Yellow, for example, or some other uh, groups like that. It's good with classic, r classical rock, with blues. Well, with all the genres that require resolutions, require emotions, require good staging, and so on. And of course, about some comparisons. First of all, I'd like to say that uh, they, you know, it's probably surprising, but they remind me some more expensive, expensive model. They remind me in general presentation, uh, Airsonic ES3 I reviewed recently. They have a similar warmth with detailization idea, with the only difference that Airsonic uh, has more lower frequencies and more deep bass. I think they also using three drivers, so probably they achieving the same effect, but shows it being a bit uh, a bit simpler in sound, but their their price is noticeably less. There are a lot of models in this price range. I, of course, I can't recall them. Everyone. I just want to mention few models. First of all, 10 10 Hertz P4 Pro. 
it's if I remember right it's four driver balanced armature models but they are tuned in another way they are absolutely linear without accent on low frequencies without that slight accent on the upper mids so they sound more linear for those who'd like more on colored in your monitors I can say that those are more fun and probably more engaging at least for me because engagement of course it's subjective thing also recently I reviewed interesting hybrid model Wither AHE03 but they are tuned in absolutely another way they have dynamic bass with more weight and a bit less resolution uh, mids here are a bit more resolving and treble here is also more present because Wither have a noticeable drop on treble in the sibilant in the sibilance area i think wizard made that on purpose to create more comfortable sound so a lot of different models in this price range but uh, really you know uh, show the neo cp have their own unique sound and they are really really competitive well maybe not the best in this price range because the tastes differ but uh, they are really strong competitor and offering really good, really balanced and really tuned sound. Thank you for attention.